Buongiorno a tutti e benvenuti, bentornati nel mio canale se non siete nuovi, se siete già stati qui, grazie! E per quelli che non lo sanno, io sono Irene, una insegnante di lingue italiane. Oggi impareremo come esprimere l'ora. Pronti? Continuate a guardare! Today we're going to be talking about how to tell the time. If the audio is a little bit weird, I am in a semi-empty apartment and that is why. And I'm sorry, but I am adjusting. I just recently moved, so you know, we gotta deal with it for a little while. Before I start though, let me know that you appreciate these videos by leaving a like, commenting down below, subscribing if you're new, and you are interested in learning a little bit more about the Italian language. Let's get into it. Okay, so how to tell the time. A few things are gonna be needed when you are trying to tell the time. Numbers, which I assume you already know, but but I, I really can't bet on it, <laughs> so we're gonna go through those very quickly. And then just the very basics of the verb to be, and then an article, and that's, that's about it. And then a few expressions that we are gonna go through right now. So numbers. First of all, in Italy, uh, we use both the 24-hour system and the 12-hour system. Very often on clocks, for example, like you will have, you know, the 12 hour system, but then the digital clocks and watches are gonna have mostly the, the 24 hour system. So it goes from 0 to 23.59. Anyway, uh, so the numbers to express the time are just like the, you know, the normal numbers, except for one, which is una. Una is the only number that changes from uno becomes una. Why? Because the hours are feminine. So basically all the time when you are using a number to express an hour, everything that goes around that number is going to be feminine. The case of una is the only case where also the number changes. But let's go through the numbers. Zero. We don't usually say Zero. We would rather say mezzanotte, which is midnight. Una, one. Due, two. Tre, three. Quattro, four. Cinque, five. Sei, six, sette, seven. Otto, eight. Nove, nine. Dieci, ten. Undici, eleven. Dodici, or twelve. Or mezzogiorno, literally midday. And then Either we start again from uno, una, due, tre, and so on and so forth, or we keep going. We say tredici, thirteen, quattordici, fourteen, quindici, fifteen, sedici, sixteen, diciassette, seventeen, diciotto, eighteen, diciannove, nineteen, geez, I'm getting confused, venti, twenty, ventuno, twenty-one, ventidue, 22, 23, 23, and then go back to midnight. It's like that song from The Sound of Music. So these are the numbers. To say, for example, it's 12.30. 12 clearly is a plural number. So to express what time it is, we are going to say they are the 12. I will say sono le dodici e trenta. But there are also other ways um, to express minutes that we are gonna go through very soon. To say that it's 12 o'clock, I'll just say sono le dodici. As you can see, we have sono, that means they are, and then we have the article. The article is le, which is the feminine plural article. But when it comes to the number one, okay, the time one, because it is singular, the only singular number, we will use the feminine but singular. For example, e luna e dieci. It's ten past one. La, that is the feminine singular article, gets shortened because vowel plus vowel don't, doesn't go well together. We could also say sono le sedici. 
e trenta. It's 16.30. Or, in that case, we could also say sono le quattro e trenta. And then we will understand from the context if we are talking about quattro, four in the morning or four in the afternoon. It's that simple. Context. Now that we know how to, you know, say the numbers of the hours, how do we deal with the minutes? Now you can use the numbers. So if you know the numbers one, one through 60, you're good to go. So you could say, sono le due e trentacinque, sono le sette e dodici. But especially when it comes to 15, 30 and 45, we can say 15 corresponds to un quarto, a quarter, just like in English. 30 corresponds to mezza, half. 45 corresponds to tre quarti. So you could say, ah, sono le tre e tre quarti. It's three and three quarters. Actually, it really is. Or I could say, la lezione inizia alle cinque e mezza. The lesson starts at 5.30. Or I could say la cena è alle otto e un quarto. Dinner is at eight and a quarter, 8.15. This should be pretty straightforward. Then something special happens in the minutes that go from 40 to zero. Okay, or to 59, I suppose. And in that case, we can say, for example, sono le quattro meno venti. Or we could say, sono le quattro meno un quarto. Or four minus ten, or four, four minus five, for example. Sono le quattro meno dieci, sono le quattro meno cinque. So, the things that you have to remember are the quarters, and you have to remember the last 20 minutes are the ones where you use the number, so the next hour minus the minutes. Okay, it's really, really that simple. When it comes to the questions, we have a few that we could use. One is, what time does a concert start, for example? A che ora inizia il concerto? And to that, we will answer, il concerto inizia alle Undici. We could also ask, what time is it? Che ora è? Or, by what time should I be there? Per che ora devo essere lì? So, I would like to ask you to make some homework. First of all, I would like you to write down in the comments four sentences answering to the following questions. A che ora ti alzi? What time do you get up? A che ora inizi a lavorare? What time do you start working? A che ora pranzi? What time do you have lunch? A che ora vai a letto? What time do you go? To bed. This is really it, and I'm gonna let you go. Di nuovo, se vi è piaciuto questo video, mettete mi piace, commentate, fate i compiti, è molto importante per voi ed è anche divertente per me, onestamente, vedere che cosa riuscite a fare. Iscrivetevi se siete nuovi. E sì, vi saluto, buona, buona continuazione della giornata ovunque voi siate. E sì. Ci vediamo molto presto nel prossimo video. Ciao ragazzi!